Summer, summer, summer time. Summer time. Time to sit back and unwind. Hey, it's your girl here by Connie here. And we are rocking our very cute and chic individual braids. This is my protective style for the summer. I took a break from the wigs and then I took a break from wearing my natural hair because I'm getting ready to travel and I want to be popping but at the same time I want a very low manipulative hairstyle so I'm rocking this very natural bob and this is actually the length of my hair braided so I, I, I think it looks very very natural. So speaking of natural protective styles let's get into it we are here today to tell you about the groundbreaking law that california has just passed called the crown act now last video we talked to you about new york passing a regulation banning any type of hair discrimination in the workplace well california has taken it a step further and made it law effective now everywhere every time so we want to go ahead and shout out the person who signed off on this bill, Senator Holly J. Mitchell, she wears locks herself, African American woman, and we love it um, because this is going to ban discrimination based on hair, mostly black hairstyles, um, the protective styles of braids, bantu knots, twists, and locks. And what this does is it, it stops any workplace, any school from marginalizing a black person from wearing their natural hair or any type of style, texture, or anything that's related to them naturally, which it should because this marginalizes us. This means that I can look at you and your hair and say I don't like it and decide not to hire you, decide to fire you, or decide not to give you a promotion. And that is clearly BS, especially in the time right now when so many people are rah, rah, rah feminism and we are hiring so many women and yada, yada, yada. But it doesn't only affect black women, it affects black men as well. And I'm sure many other minorities who might have any type of curly hair or any other texture of hair that's very different from the mainstream straight status quo. So the Crown Coalition gave us this Crown Act and Crown stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. So let me give you a little bit about the Crown Coalition. Um, some of the people on this are the National Urban League, Color of Change, Western Center on Law and Poverty, and the beauty brand Dove. Now, Dove says that 80% of black women are more likely to change their natural hair to conform to social norms or expectations at work. Now, I must say, I'm so happy that, that I am confident as a black woman to wear my hair however I want, whether it be wigs, weaves, extensions, my bantu knots, my twists, my bantu knot outs, my twist outs, my fro, or my braids whatever I want but I know there are so many women who don't have that confidence and it may not even be from within it's from society it's probably your boss looking at you a certain way or your co-workers and maybe someone has actually told you maybe you've gotten that phone call from HR that said that your hair is not professional enough or it doesn't fit the company culture well I want to thank the state of New York for putting it into that within their state and New York, I think it's going to be number two when it comes to passing this as a statewide law. And also, New Jersey is on the trail as well. So shout out to these three states. Definitely want it to be a nationwide thing. Definitely want it to be a worldwide thing. I mean, there was a young man who was made to cut his locks off before his wrestling fight. There were some incidents in South Africa, riots going on within schools because some African girls were made to change their hair. They couldn't wear their natural hair out. This is an epidemic, okay? This is not okay. I cannot help the way that my hair comes out of my hair. And even if I could, I wouldn't. Why? Because I love it, because it's beautiful. And this is why you hear the mantra, Black is beautiful, black hair is beautiful, because so many people tell us all the time, especially from society, that it is not 
acceptable, and that is not okay. So in the spirit of this, I just want to say, be confident, love your hair because it is beautiful. The way it comes out of your hair, your head, is beautiful. So to all my queens and all my kings out there who are not afraid to rock their natural hair, despite what society says, despite what your boss says, you do it and we champion for you. So until next time, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment today if you have anything to say on this issue. And like, subscribe, follow, and share. All of my information is below. And if you want to read more on this, you can go to Dove.com. This is the Crown Act, sponsored by the Crown Coalition. We're here by Connie. Bye.